M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's get our analog APRS settings into our GD88. So let's start off by creating a zone. So look, you've got zones here on the left. I've got one here called APRS. How do you add a zone? Just double click this blue section. And there's already lots of zones here. And on number two, you just click it there and name it APRS. Or you can add a zone by clicking add here, same thing. So then go plus, hit the plus there, and go to the double click the APRS zone you've created, created, and then you can start creating a channel. So look, the first one is, and we're only gonna do analog, and then we've named it APRS 14480 so I can find it, but the important bit is we've put in the frequency 144.8 with all the noughts on TX, RX. I've kept the power high because it's gonna be, I'm gonna be outdoors doing this. I've ignored the RX, all these I've ignored, then just go all the way across to the end. We're on analog channels and we haven't added any tones or anything like that. All the tones are off. And then but we have gone APRS one and we've gone we've named we have named the one underneath which is digital number two. So APRS one. We've basically turned on APRS. So that's our zone, our channel. We are gonna need a contact. Uh, if we do digital, but in this case we don't need to. So let's just click APRS now, because we're on analog. And really the important section is the top section here we've got in my location. I've told it to use fixed location, because uh, I've got quite a bad lock here. And we've got manual TX interview intervals of 30, which is quite long really. Let's, let's just go a bit longer. Let's go, there you are that. APRS auto TX intervals, uh, beacon fix. So 144800, I'm not sure why the noughts aren't in there. For the TX, transmit power high, I've left tones off. Transmit delay, I haven't changed this, I've left it at default. Transit power high, APRS tone on. You turn that off if you don't want to hear that annoying sound. Destination SSID, and it looks like you can actually put in a number and a call sign of someone you want to, you know, APRS text direct. That's pretty good. My call sign's here. The dash six is here. I've chose dash six. I've left these symbols here as a slash line and this. I'm hoping that, that will be good. Using a radio on a TGD88 is my message, like that. And I've left it at wide one dash one, wide two dash one, and then set, save that somewhere. And then write it to your radio, just click here, click right, and that'll go to your radio. And I've tested this and it does work. And I'll show you some video uh, at the end. So hopefully I haven't missed anything. We've got our channels, zones, and APR settings. Basic parameters here at the top, call sign. DMR number. I haven't really changed anything else. Uh, in the DMR settings, uh, well, we're not doing DMR. This is um, the analog settings. So I hope this helps. And uh, seven three, catch you one out. All the best. Just to show you, it is coming from the GD eighty eight to the FT five. As I turn this knob here, you'll see the location. But if we keep going to the message using a Radiodity GD88, all written there. So it's definitely coming from the GD88 to the FT5, and we have got a GPS lock as well. Catch you on air.